So the hype is real because episode one of Chainsaw Man was incredible because this chapter, oh my gosh, it had everything from like the sad story to the gore to just everything. The animation was top notch and the sound effects, especially to when Dingy transformed into the Chainsaw Man. It just went perfectly when you just hear the chainsaw just kept ringing and ringing and ringing as he just continuously just using it for his defense and just a lot of extra stuff that's happened in episode one because episode one was basically chapter one number one from Chainsaw Man the manga. They just added a little bit of extra stuff like the first couple of minutes you see that dingy he's actually like walking to the door which kind of illustrated later down the line i'm not going to spoil it for anime only people but the people who actually read the manga and know the whole story they know what that door indicated for but also as well they also expand on the fact of like when he was working with the mob and how he was just killing devils and also to the drive to the warehouse where a lot of things started happening where he actually became the chainsaw man so there was just a lot of things that they added extra into it and it was just pretty amazing just to see like how everything played out and everything just matched up perfectly the fights the gore it was just really gory they did not shy away on blood like there was just so much blood and they did not censor it at all because there were certain scenes especially chapter one where it was just like oh they're gonna censor that or are they gonna like cover that nope we actually see dingy being chopped up we actually see everything that's going down and episode but the one thing that i did like i very much acknowledge and actually did like is when dingy was actually fighting against the zombies because the how the, his hand motions were when he first transformed you can just see like the chainsaws it kind of looked like it was like a little bit heavier but his movements and the fight choreographic it actually looks like a guy who would actually have chainsaws for arms and it did make sense and i did like how dingy he actually used every bit of his chainsaws like from his head to his arms to go ahead and actually slice down zombies which I will go later on, on like why they're zombies, if you guys actually did watch it. But it's literally, is just 100% like great to see like the fight choreographic it actually did make sense. And it, they didn't like go full on over exaggerated. Like it actually didn't make sense. Like, okay, like, yeah, how would a guy with chainsaw actually will move, especially how the chainsaws are positioned? Cause it's not like he's like having Wolverine arms. He's this man like actually has chainsaws in the middle of his hands or through his arms. So it, it's just really incredible just to see the movements and the choreographic of Dingy just slicing down bodies after bodies after bodies. But you also get a understanding and you feel bad for Dingy because Dingy's life just sucks because Dingy, he has to pay back his father's debt to the mob and his father died. So Dingy, he already sells an eyeball, a nut, uh, pretty much a kidney, and he's still in a large amount of debt. And, and at this time, you're just kind of wondering, what did dingy dad did like how much money did this man actually borrow to the mob but then you can also see why the amount is so huge because the mob kept adding interest so every time dingy he did a big job and he think that he got everything settled they kept adding interest and interest and interest even to the point where we actually see dingy and pochia actually goes ahead and try to take down the tomato devil and they're trying to use the seeds to sell for the black market so that way they can make a profit but eventually you can just tell like the mobster he was just like yeah we gotta add interest and then he's also informing his goons like yeah dingy he'll do anything like dingy is like a loyal dog like he'll do anything anything that you tell him for money he would do it so you actually see like the guy he's trying to give dingy a cigarette he's like oh eat this and i'll give you a hundred yen and dingy goes and eat it but he didn't fully eat it because when the guy drove away he actually spit it out and then he's actually touching pochia but Dingy's dirt poor. Like Dingy only has money for a slice of bread and he's feeding Portia, which is actually great because you can see the relationship between him and Portia. 
are really close like ash and pikachu because that's the, the relationship that i see when i see like denji and pochia because pochia is pikachu and ash is denji because just seeing how the devil is just all upon denji and want to protect him and just very happy it was just 100 like great to see that and on top of that when they first got introduced you can see Pratia was just wants all the smoke this man was ready to actually attack Denji and Denji he was just like well do it fast because I'm going to die anyways because I owe the mobster so much money and they're going to kill me but then Denji he goes ahead and he helps Pratia like actually like live because Pratia actually got like shot and he was about to die due to blood loss so Pratia actually you know bit Denji's arm sucking the blood and Denji and him made a pass saying like hey i will protect you and you will protect me and so that's why they're so close and you can just see the respect between these two so then denji he's actually living in like a shack or a shed like this man is just living in like in a metal shed and that's just all just him like this man has got no tv no running water this man just lives in the shed during the middle of the woods and then so we see the one of the mobster guy actually goes picks up denji and then take him to a warehouse where they have to go ahead and kill a devil but then all of a sudden denji realized that he's being set up because the guy had his goons actually stab denji in the back which the sword actually went through denji and went through prachia and then they both are like dying and then they're both like trying to get away and they realize that the mobsters they actually actually made a deal with the zombie devil which because they want to become powerful and so the, instead of like just trying to like actually organize with the devil's hunters they want to destroy it. they want to be powerful than the devil's hunters and so they made a deal with the zombie devil which one of the causes is that if you made a contract with the zombie devil you will become a zombie and then this is where we actually see the brutal scenes where denji actually getting like cut into pieces actually getting stabbed multiple times like it would feel like you're in a horror movie at this point and this was just 100 and like amazing because what i said like the censoring because chainsaw man it is not for kids it's for like young adults and adults and just seeing all of these scenes that was going on in chainsaw man it is 100 and brutal so i'm actually did glad that we actually were able to see like denji being chopped up to pieces and there we actually see that denji and pachia they actually made a deal where that you know if denji dies then pachia would take over the body and then this is where we actually got chainsaw man because pachia told denji like hey i will be your heart if you live your dream and then we see the final scene when denji actually transformed into the chainsaw man and then we see pachia actually becoming like denji's heart which was really great and then Denji just goes ahead and he just fucks shit up. Like this man just started chopping off bodies after bodies and he went straight to the zombie devil and the zombie devil, he was screaming. He was trying to run away because he didn't want to get killed. And so after that, after Denji defeated all of the zombies, especially the mobster zombies. So Makima has appeared and you see all the carnage that Denji has actually made by killing the zombie devil and the mafia. And she was just like, I came to kill the zombie devil. So did you do it? So then she's looking at Denji and she was just like, oh, he's not a threat because he doesn't smell like a devil, nor he just smells like a human. So Denji was just like, hug me. And then so she hugged Denji and Denji revert back to his normal self and then so her goons were like hey like is he possessed and she was like no you can see it in a person's eyes if they're possessed by a devil so denji's just like yeah so denji just falls to the ground and then so she's just like hey so you have two options one work for me or two you'll die so denji's just like all right i'll work for you and besides what's for breakfast and then that's when the whole episode ends and we're waiting for episode two i'm trying to not say chapter because i'm so used to reviewing the chapters but episode two is going to come out next week and this was just 100 percent hype the opener for chainsaw man it just describes how chainsaw man is it goes from serious to silly to wacky it was just everything and the music too actually fits chainsaw man and the theme of it as well so i actually did like the beat of it and everything the closure song was actually a very much of a banger because it just fit the theme of chainsaw man and i know we're getting like different kind of closure songs 
each episode but man like i am very very happy to see this series is actually getting an animated and actually are able to see like what's going to be the next 11 episodes and how it's going to be and i'm just curious on like what arc is going to be done because i think they're going to be finishing the katana man arc where that's where chapter 12 is probably going to be at but you know i don't know how everything's going to play out but man chainsaw man uh it's here uh it's worth the hype check it out let me know down in the comment section what you guys do feel about you know this episode and what your guys thought process and everything is because man like i am so happy for chainsaw man it's here and next tuesday we're gonna, we're gonna be waiting for episode two so let me know down in the comment section if you guys do like the video please give it a like subscribe and remember always be decent as the monto man and hope you guys have a wonderful day and thank you for clicking on my reaction slash review of chainsaw man episode one all right peace